main gear bag. I've got it all packed up. This is how I, oh, thanks. This is how I set it up. Um, I do, I like to be ready to get out and shoot. So I've got my um, harness and I can put this over my head and I've got my cameras both at the ready. So um, I got a new partnership with, um, hey, thanks, Nick. Thanks for stopping by. This um, live is kind of at a weird angle for me. I've got my camera set up on this tripod with the arm sticking out so I can do an overhead shot. Um, I got this partnership with um, Think Tank. I've been using their bags for a long time and they sent me a couple of bags to check out. So um, this is my current like setup. I've been using this for a long time. So what I do is, this is airport size, uh, carry-on size. And um, it's kind of the slightly older standard. It's not the international standard. So, you know, it's really tight on a small plane. And I always have to tell people like, no, I can't check this. My camera gear is in there. And they usually help me out and make it work. But I take this on every shoot. This is my daily, you know, the way I have it packed up. And I have everything packed up. So when I get to the shoot, I can just open up the bag. I can pull my straps out here and um, just put these on over my head and then my cameras are ready to go already. Um, usually I don't need the hoods on like this for the extra space, well I do on this one, but this is so big. I just shot a marathon on Saturday. My camera is so, lens is so old, I've had this lens for um, 17 years. Oh my God, 16, probably 16. The hood doesn't stay on, so I have to tape it on or it falls off. I was riding my bike around town shooting this marathon and I'm like, I don't want my hood to fall off while I'm riding my bike. Anyways, so they sent me this box today. I told them I wanted a smaller one because they really have a lot of extra space in here. Like this is just empty right now. So basically, and then when I fold the hood around, I'll just take the tape off. So, have all this extra space. Uh, this is stuff I don't even use. Um, and I told them I wanted something smaller because um, that I want it easier to fit in the carry-on. I also pared down my gear since I bought this bag. So look, like this is this is how much space. I mean, this is just a bag. I can stick this anywhere. I can fold it up and stick it on the outside. But I've got a lot of extra space. So I'm gonna see what bag they sent me. A replacement roller. And they sent me uh, a bag for my mirrorless. Um, so this is my um, mirrorless that I shoot with like all the time. Uh, uh, so all it is, I just have one extra lens and a bag and I stick my memory cards in and that's it. And this bag, when I bought this camera, I spent you know, my full budget on the camera and I saw this bag in the bargain bin for $9, so I've been using this for almost five years. But I don't know, it doesn't, I don't like it as much as my other bag. So they sent me a replacement for this too. So I'm gonna see what I got and um, how I can fit my gear into it. I thought I'd do this live and see um, what kind of stuff we got in here. So, one of these bags is supposed to be a smaller roller. So that must be my replacement for the wireless. So as a part of this deal, so yeah, at hand. So I just got a partnership with um, Think Tank. I've been using their gear for a long time. I'm already in their affiliate program. So they have a thing. I have a new page, a link in my bio. Um, it's called Partners. So Think Tank is a partner. If you go to my Partners page, there's a link to go to their website and you can get like free gifts and shipping and all that stuff if you uh, want to look at like bags or... I've used this modular system of theirs for a long time. Doing the full photojournalist thing where I put the belt on and then I have these different bags that just connect to the belt. Um, I've had these probably seven or eight years. Got one for my long lens. 
and um, it's been really handy. So I dig their stuff. It's really good. I used to use Low Pro, but Think Tank is built better in my experience. So I wanted something I was showing. I don't think you were here. So this is my, my pro gear bag. I take everything. Yeah, I've heard a lot of great things about it. Which, do you remember which size one you got? This is the five. I didn't want a big one. Um, I wanted either the four or the five and they sent me the five. Um, Cause I use this, I take this camera with me everywhere and this is the bag I've been using. It's really small, but I just pulled this out of a bargain bin for $9 when I bought, uh, when I bought this camera because I was tapped out from buying this camera. <laughs> and I keep meaning to replace that bag, but I haven't. So yeah, this is their Retrospective 5. I've always liked the look and feel of these bags, um, but I haven't owned one yet. So my Think Tank stuff that I've owned so far is this airport security roller, um, the modular system, and then I've got this They don't even make this anymore, but I actually really like it. Uh, it's called the artificial intelligence. So, cause the idea was I didn't want to get a whole laptop bag and I didn't want a laptop, a camera bag that also held a laptop cause I almost never need my laptop and my camera at the same time. So I got this, uh, you know, if I go to a coffee shop or something and it just sticks in the front, it just slides in the front pocket. And they had like a 13 and a 15 version. So I can fit my book in the back and then my computer. And then just, this is just pens and um, chargers and stuff if I need it. I actually found kind of a, I could cheat some of the airline system with this bag because that's my carry-on bag. And if I stick this in there, if I fill it up with stuff and stick it in there, and then I've got, so that's my carry-on. And then I've got, you know, a backpack or something is my, you know, personal item. But if, if this doesn't fit in the overhead bin, then I just pull that out. And basically, like, I've got a third bag. And I've never had any issue with it uh, doing that. So anyways, so this is how I've been going with all that. Um, I was saying I've got a lot of extra space in this bag because I pared down my gear. And I want to do more traveling. And this was always kind of precarious on some of the smaller planes. I'm not scheduled to go anywhere right now. Um, we're kind of looking ahead to next year. Um, so we'll see. You know, we travel a lot around the country. I don't fly too much except for shoots on occasion. Um, I have five kids, so we drive most places that we go to. But any less gear I can take up in the car... Any less space in the car I can take up too is nice. So this is the, this is cool. The build quality is awesome. I love the feel of these bags. So I'll probably be making a post out of this video. I'll definitely put it on YouTube. Um, like I said, if you're just stopping by, um, in my link in bio, there's a partners, there's a partners link. And uh, Think Tank is my first partner link on that page. Oh, yeah, they've got the rain cover. Yeah, five. <laughs> yeah, five is five is a lot. It gets it gets, you know, it's easier. You figure it out. It's just, it's you don't really know what you're doing. I mean, when you have two, you don't know what you're doing. So it's not a big deal. We have fun. We like to travel together. We homeschool. So we do a lot of, there's a lot of nice like pockets and stuff in here, little spots for pens. I've got like a hard drive that could fit in here if I needed to. Oh yeah, this one will take a tablet. I don't currently have a tablet, but I've been meaning to pick one up. So now I think that'd be more useful for me than carrying a laptop bag is uh is a spot for a tablet. So this'll be, you know, a little more space than what I need for my mirrorless. Oh yeah, I use their silencer things a lot. These are, this is a cool feature because if you pull the thing out, 
then it covers up the Velcro, and then you're not dealing with Velcro in like quiet situations. So I use this all the time on this. Because my 70 to 200 lives in here. And, and so if I'm shooting in a quiet room beforehand, I'll flip this out. And then, um, then you don't get that ripping when you're trying to <laughs> switch lenses. So that's cool that they have that in this bag. Um, it's nice. It's got both the, the zipper and the flap. These brain covers always seem handy, but a lot of times I take them out of my bags to save space. But um, yeah, man, this is cool. It's got a lot of, I don't even know. Oh, this must be like a, you stick a mini uh, tripod in the side or something like that. It's got a clip on it. That's cool. So this is more space. I'm planning on expanding. So I got this mainly for my um, mirrorless that I take with me every, everywhere. And I've just got like an extra lens for that right now, but I'm planning on picking up another lens for this camera and I'll probably get a, a second mirrorless body. I've been, I really like shooting with the Fujifilm stuff. Um, it's so compact. So I could see getting a second body for that soon. So yeah, it's, I mean, plenty of space. Stick the lens in there. It's just strapping the camera. So I got some new stuff from Think Tank. I'm uh, partnering with them now. Um, there's a link in my bio to a partners page that has, you can get um, uh, free gift and free shipping through Think Tank site if you go through my link. So yeah, so this is the new, the retrospective bag, um, but it's a good, oh, I could probably look at the features if I looked at the bag, if I looked more closely at what was here. But um, yeah, the size is pretty good. It's bigger. The four would have been closer to what I have been using, but I am planning on having like a few more things and I'd like to use this as kind of a shoulder bag. So I think I'm really gonna be glad that I have the five um, because the next size bag up I have are the rollers. So I've still got, they sent me another roller. That's what's in here. I told them I wanted a smaller all right, so let's see this ro This roller is even like smaller than I would have thought. They were gonna send me one that was smaller than this, that was an airline size, but because of all the supply chain stuff, they couldn't get any for months. So they said, you know, try this one out, and if it doesn't work as well for you, we can send you the other one. This is cool. Try not to block it or anything. Oh, wow. That's cool. So, the other thing is the weight. This bag is a nice bag, but it's super heavy. Um, so having a lighter everyday bag, I'll probably keep this bag in case I need to travel with more gear, but this will probably be like my everyday bag. So it says it has a laptop. Uh, oh, I see, this is stuck. It says it has a laptop compartment up front. That's nice. What I wondered is if I could fit my bag that I already use in here. And that's a guess. Just fold these in or take it off. Um, I was saying I've had this for a number of years. They don't even make this anymore, but I always stick this in the front of that when I travel. Um, so that's cool. It's got a lot of um, pockets and spots for stuff here. I think these two bags will make a nice, I mean, this one in the retrospective, I think will make a nice pair for traveling. Oh, I always thought, they used to do a thing where it was like this and they showed one system, it was like Canon on one side and Nikon on the other side, the exact same setup. But it's still, that's a Canon setup. So is that. So I'm interested to see how this will fit. 
my current uh, setup in there. Yeah, it does look small. I'm just standing up to look at comments. Yeah, it's so small, and it, but it feels big enough for what I need. Not having to lug this huge one around on a daily basis. I mean, this one is nice for um, if I've rented gear. Sometimes I'll rent an extra camera body or an extra couple lenses. That that could be good for that sort of thing. But um, like an everyday having something smaller. And I don't usually keep my 70 to 200 on. Usually, so if you weren't here when I was showing this in the beginning. This is how I do my setup. Uh, when I'm shooting for clients or I'm shooting photojournalism kind of work, I always shoot two bodies. So um, the way I have it set up, I wanna be able to arrive and go, start shooting right away. So my lenses are attached to both bodies and I've got one of these straps on there. And so I can, if this is in the back of my car, you know it's at standing height. I can slip this over my head and pull the two cameras out and I'm ready to go. I don't usually leave the 70 to 200 on because I like the smaller prime lenses to use mostly. But um, this, I, had, I left this on because I was shooting a marathon on Saturday and definitely any kind of sporting event, I've got to have that 70 to 200. Um, so this is my 50. So this is usually what I have on there. It's a 70 to 200 and a 51.4. And um, I usually leave the hoods out and everything. So like I'm really like fully ready to go. So uh, if you're just joining, I'm showing some stuff. I just started partnering with Think Tank. Um, there's a partner page, my link in bio, that has some stuff you can get from them, uh, like free, free gifts and uh, free shipping and that kind of stuff. These bags that I've had for a long time, I mean, I've had this bag for at least eight years, I think, and it's really in good shape. Um, all the zippers still work well. Never had a problem with the zippers I have on other brands. Um, all of the dividers and stuff hold up. It just, you know, everything is tight. I haven't had any seams pop. I mean, I'm talking about taking this to every shoot for like seven years. So it's been a great, uh, yeah, sure. Oh, thanks for uh, the gifts and stuff. I've got this camera, um, my camera's up on a tripod with an arm out. So I'm trying to look at stuff. Thank you, Jay Fisher, appreciate it. Um, so I'm gonna see how this, I'm curious how this fits. Okay, so I can see right now, the, t the bodies are designed to go this way instead of side by side. I think this should still work. They look about the same, same depth. So, I see. I wanna see if I can leave my strap the way that I've always done it. I think if I just put it underneath the camera. First, I want to see if I can leave the hoods. You know, it's easy to turn the hoods in, obviously. But I wanted to see first um, how, it, how it looks if I leave the hoods turned out. So then, like I said, I don't have to do anything when I get to a shoot. It really works well for that. I mean, that'll close, no problem. So that's cool. Um, on a daily basis, I'm not taking much extra stuff. You know what, I'm actually gonna use this for reference. So it looks like people either usually have the 7200 on and put it in the middle or put it in this pocket in the side. So I'm gonna try it over here. Yep, just like the picture. So, I mean, these are the only three lenses I own for the Canon. I'll rent other stuff sometimes if I need a specialty shoot, but like my daily stuff, I mean, that's everything that I use. I like shooting with this combination of the 24 and the 50, both f1.4. When I shoot a single body, I like this, um, 
23 because it's the equivalent of a 35. Um, so if I were to shoot one, but see, I never shoot one body with my cannons uh, rarely, and I just use the 50. But if I often shot one body with the cannons, I would get a 35. But when I went just at 35, I used the Gucci code. So oh, they've got the rain gear, the rain cover. I never needed a rain cover. I usually just store them like in my car or something. So um, yeah, that's cool. I was wondering how this would all fit. It seems like it's pretty well. Um, I usually keep, so here's my next test. I usually keep um, my 70 to 200 in this bag. So what I do is I, I take my gear out and I put on the cameras and then I use my, um, uh, where did I put that? I'm leaving all my stuff everywhere. I put the 70 to 200 right on the belt because I don't often start straight away with the 70 to 200 unless I'm doing like sports. Usually I just leave this in here. I wonder if this will fit. It's a little tight. Well, I think if I take this one out, I'll just fold it up towards the top for right now. Seems like it fits. As long as it closes, it fits, right? It makes it a little bit wide. So, if I don't get this real smooth, I might change my standard practice and do something like keep this out of it, out of that bag. That works, no problem. What is this? That, that's my strength. <laughs> this is really cool. I like how small it is, for sure. I'm surprised that it looks like as much can fit in here as it can. Um, and then I can still use my old laptop bag if I want. A lot of times what I'll do when I travel is take the shoulder strap off and then I can just um, stick it in the front. Yeah, cool. I mean, obviously the laptop will add a little bit of thickness there, but my laptop's not in there right now, but it's pretty, well, I didn't even have it in the laptop cart. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I do have a book in the bag. So yeah, this is fun. Um, I appreciate Think Tank for doing the partnership. Um, so I'll be, you know, if I get any other stuff of theirs, I'll show it, show it off. Um, I'm going to do, you know, when I travel, I'll kind of highlight some of this kind of features and functionality. Um, oh, hey friend. Thank you. What do I have here? So I'm doing a partnership now with, um, Think Tank. That's my old bag. I had a lot of extra space in it. This is the bag they sent me. I told them I wanted a smaller roller. Um, that one takes up so much space and I don't often fill it up. So they sent me this smaller roller to check out. I was seeing how my gear fits in there. This is my um, gear that I use on shoots. So that's, that's two um, Canon 5D3 bodies. <laughs> you know, I am excited about the new bag. I'm also excited about um, working with a partner like Think Tank because um, I've used their stuff for so long and I've always been really happy with it. And um, so it's really cool to be at a point in my career when I can start working with some partners with brands that I've always used. So that's a lot of fun. But um, yeah, two Canon 5D3 bodies, uh, 24 millimeter F1.4, uh, 50 F1.4 and the 70 to 200. And um, so that's been good. I'm just seeing how all this stuff fits 
in this bag. I rarely use splash. Um, I'm not sure. This might have to go down on a side or something like that. Let's see how everything fits in here. It looks like, you know, I wanted it to be snug. I don't need a lot of stuff on my regular shoots. Um, I try to keep everything pared down. I don't like to carry a lot of extra gear around. And frankly, once I get to a shoot, I'm not using a bag. The bag gets my gear to the shoot, and then that's that. So, uh, yeah, this is some new stuff they sent me to try out. The other was this, um, is this bag. Um, this I'm gonna use for my mirrorless camera that I take with me most places. I'm gonna go ahead and take this rain cover out. I like saving this space and take the rain cover out. Um, so right now I've got a lot of extra room in here, but that'll come in handy. I'll probably get another one of these camera bodies and another lens. And it's got room for, uh, for a tablet also. So I can put that in here. I don't need to take my laptop. In fact, I don't like to take my laptop places when I'm just going to shoot. I only take it when I'm traveling. So there it is. Yeah, cool. This is the first time I'm closing the zipper, so I'm trying to figure it out. There we go. But I like these bags and the build quality. The build quality is really good. This, I weighed that bag before with all my gear in it and I can't remember. It's probably somewhere around 40 pounds. I mean, it's not a significant. <laughs> oh, hey, thanks, Zakino. But um, I like the size. Here, maybe this thing will be better. I mean, this is this one's technically it's carry-on size. It's like U.S. standard carry-on size. Um, and this is more. This has the international and uh, regional flight size so that'll be more convenient i travel a lot by car so just taking up this less space in my car will be a big deal so i'm excited about this for sure um so i've been talking about if you're just joining um, i have a new partnership with um, think tank and um i've used their gear for a long time and i've always been really happy with it um and so i'm excited to have them you know, uh, as a partner and there's, um, links in my profile, uh, link in bio. And it's a partner page, the one that says partners and you can get, um, free gifts and shipping and stuff from think tank. So, um, yeah, this is cool. It's a lot of fun. So that bag and this bag too, um, that's the other new one. Um, that's their retrospective series. It's pretty cool. So I think that's most of what I have to show for the bag. I wanted to see how well my gear fit in it. And it seems to fit pretty well. Man, this one is so like sturdy. The material is great. But now most of the photojournalists use think tank stuff. It's just built so well. Um, it's lasted a really long time. I mean, this is bag I've had for like eight years. All the zippers are still perfect inside and outside. Um, so you can see, I had a lot of empty space in this bag and um, I was able to fit. This is my primary, you know, set of gear here. I don't even really use the flash very much, but I just stuck it in there because I had space for it. So slimming down a little bit. Um, yeah. So, and other than that, I mean, I just have some small odds and ends 
in here that will easily fit in in these pouches. We got like extra straps and stuff. Get those out of the way. Um, yeah, I'm excited about this. The size and the weight difference are a lot different. So let's pack this up. I might even start doing it this way. This has backpack straps. That's cool. Oh, you don't even have to. Okay. This massive bag, this is a feature they don't have on the newer bags. This massive bag has these backpack straps, and I never use them. You would take them out and then you clip them on the thing down here. But this bag is so heavy and stiff, I never wanted to use it. Whereas this one, other one's a lot lighter. And frankly, a lot of the times I felt like these just kind of got in the way. But these look like a lot more convenient. You just open them up and they're ready to use. And the bag's not so heavy. It would be easier to put on your bag. That's interesting. Here. It looks like you just shove them all the way down. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't need to impress anybody with the bigger bag. I like uh, streamlining a bit. All right, so I think this is all I'm gonna do with the um, unboxing of the new bags.